about baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Today, the opening round of the Western Mass Division III Tournament as the number 15 Putnam Beavers come to South Deer to take on the second seed, Frontier Redhawks. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins, along with Kevin Murphy, Alan Gecko, and the entire crew here. And a pretty good crowd gathering for what should be a very interesting opening round matchup. Although interesting in the sense that Putnam comes in here actually with a losing record. They're 15th seed, 8-12 and 12 on the regular season. And they are in the tournament because it, the rule is if you win, finish first or second in your division, you get an automatic berth. And so this on paper looks like it could be a blowout for Frontier. If they win this game, they host Athol on Monday. And on the mound for the Frontier Red Hawks, the senior hurler, Matty Hildreth. who is now at the, the mound, talking things over with his catcher, Garrett DeForest, will give you the full lineup uh, for the Frontier Red Hawks when they come to bat in the bottom of the first. Leading off for the Putnam Beavers, the shortstop, Jorge Diaz. Diaz, I've been told, is a very versatile underclassman, plays the middle part of the infield. Usually, you'll see him probably at shortstop and at second play, depending on what happens. Pitch number one of the postseason is fouled back, strike one to Jorge Diaz. Hildreth likes to mix his pitches up, but he can throw the, the heat. Strike two, swinging. So Jorge Diaz is down early in the count, 0 oh and 2. You can hear definitely a windy afternoon here at uh, South Diego, but perfect weather for the first game of the tournament on the same day as graduation. That's high for ball one. One and two the count to Diaz. Hildreth now steps off the rubber as Diaz jumps out of the box. It sets up nicely for Frontier if they can get by this first uh, first round. Curveball just inside, evens the count at two apiece. Athol is the number seven C. They're coming off an opening round win. They'll be here on Monday if Frontier is able to win this game. We've got a lot of baseball to play before that happens. Hildreth. Lines and deals. Strike three, swinging up high. And quickly there is one down as Matty Hildreth records his first strikeout of the postseason. The batter now is Randy Perez, the catcher, number 15. Hildreth winds and fires. Line drive, base hit into right field. So Perez is on with a one out single. And that will bring up Andy Perez, the first baseman, as we enter the power part of the Putnam order. Perez definitely looks like he can cloud it. Looks a lot like Prince Fielder, actually, body size. Strike one, swinging. Again, Randy Perez on first, and Andy, per Andy Perez at the plate. Randy and Andy trying to get something going in the first frame for Putnam. Fly ball foul. That'll make it 0-2. It looks like uh, Putnam having a tough time keeping up with the fastball of Matty Hildreth. Hildreth from the stretch. Round ball in front of the plate. It's going to be tough. Hildreth plays it to first. And Randy Perez moves to second. So Andy Perez is cut down one to three. It's two gone, and the battle is El Arroyo, the right fielder. We got two. We got two. Lefty, lefty. A lefty at the plate. Runner at second pitch and Arroyo gets it deep to left field in foul territory and unable to get there was the left fielder for Frontier, Kalen Evans. And if Kalen Evans couldn't get to it, you know it was out of play because Kalen Evans is one of the fastest guys in the league. A long strike there for El Arroyo, who's the right fielder. And again, it does look like early going 
Putnam's having a tough time catching up with the fastball. Oh, Hildreth. Perez leads off second. Hildreth from the stretch. The pitch. Outside, ball one. So evens the count at one apiece. It's a good pitch. Just outside, though. Hildreth puts it back. Arroyo, ground ball up the middle. Bauman has it. On to first. The side is retired. No runs, one hit. One left on. We go to the bottom of the first. Putnam nothing. Frontier coming up. This is Red Hawk Playoff Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks. Customer driven networking for your business. Software driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Ready to go to the bottom of the first inning. There's the lineup for the Frontier Redhawks. Connor Wakis leads off, plays center field. Brian Bauman is a shortstop batting second. Kiernan Freeman plays first base batting third. Corbin Blight, the cleanup hitter, plays third base. Jacob Bryant, DH, bats fifth. Matt Hildreth, the pitcher, bats sixth. Kalen Evans is left field batting seventh. Garrett DeForest catching, batting eighth. And Kyle Barnes, the second baseman, bats ninth. Zach Renaud is playing right field and not batting today for the Redhawks. Later on tonight, Greenfield plays Mahar. Playoff baseball at Veterans Field. And of course, while that game is going on, Frontier will be graduating his class of 2019. On the mound for the Putnam Beavers is Giovanni Merced, number 16, big right hander. Let's see if Frontier can get out in front early. Speedy Connor Wake steps in. These Putnam guys like to talk it up, apparently. Wake us. Getting from the right side. They said wines, deals, low ball one. One and oh. Look for Merced to try and paint the corners a bit against this frontier team, which has been tough. Ball too low. So 2 0. Wake gets ahead on the count. Wake us, fly ball. Short center field. And the center fielder cannot get to it. It falls in. Wake is going to hold up at first. And I'm going to give him a single on that one because it looked like that was a, that was a, they call a fly ball with eyes. So Wakus is aboard with a one out single. And that brings up the shortstop, Brian Bauman. Bauman with the fluorescent orange bat. See that thing coming from a mile away. Wakus leads off first. Now Merced steps off the rubber, gets him back. Wake is obviously a threat to steal. Merced looks him back. The stretch. And the pitch. Wakus is going on the first pitch. Ball high, and Wakus is going to steal second easily. 
So a single and a stolen base for Connor Wakeless is now in scoring position and Bauman's ahead on the count, one and oh. Wakeless leads off second. Merced on the stretch. The pitch. Low in the dirt. 2 0. Oh. To Bauman. Frontier would love to put a crooked number up in this inning and end this thing early if possible. Merced with the stretch again. Low ball three. So Merced having a tough time finding the strike zone. I'm not entirely sure the ball that Wake's hit was even in the strike zone. So Merced all over the place. Bauman way ahead in the count. Low ball four. So Bauman walks on four straight pitches. So Frontier has two runners aboard, and the batter is going to be Cannon Freeman, the first baseman. So the Hawks threatening early in this one. Merced in the stretch again. And the pitch. Low, ball one to Freeman. So I'm not sure Merced has pitched a strike in this game yet. Merced from the stretch again. Pitch. That one, he got the outside corner, strike one. That evens the count at one apiece to Kieran and Freeman. Just inside. It makes the count two and one. Again, two runners on. Bauman at first, Wakeus at second. Freeman fouls that one back. The Neil Murphy's car. Oh boy. Come on, seven. That evens the count of two balls, two strikes. Hey, seven, come on. Come on, seven. Either that or my truck. Nobody. Big time. with a high curve ball. That runs the count full three balls and two strikes. Nobody out. Bottom of the first. Opening round Division Three tournament. Number 15 Putnam and number two Frontier. And ball four. So Freeman is aboard. So everybody moves up. Bases are now loaded. A single and two consecutive walks, which loads the pond for Corbin Blight. And the manager is coming out. I don't know if Merced is going to continue here or if they're going to take him out. The entire infield for Putnam is over there taking a look. But right now, Merced's in a bit of trouble. Gets a pat on his shoulder, so they're going to stick with him. But I think that if Blake gets a hold of one here, you got to think about maybe making a change. You do not want to go down to these guys early in the first inning. Nobody out. Base is loaded. And the batter is Corbin Blight, the third baseman, the cleanup hitter for this Frontier Red Hawk line. Merced will go from the windup. Strike inside corner, nothing in one to Connor Wakeless. Connor Wakeless is leading off third right now. Perfect day weather wise, except for a little wind. Wakeless tags one to right center field. Wakeless tags one to right center field. Wakeless tags one to right center field. And it's going to be caught for the out. Tagging and scoring is Connor Wakeless. So a sacrifice fly for Blight. And it's 1 0 Frontier. Bauman moves up to third and Freeman to second. And the batter will be the DH, Jacob Bryant. Here we go, Jacob. Here we go, Jacob. Big man can launch it, can break this thing open with one swing of the bat. Typically plays left, but today is the DH. Nobody, Bauman. Hey, you all. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody, Bauman. The pitch. Popped up. Third base side. 
And it's going to be pulled in. So two gone, and the pitcher will be, uh, the batter will be Matty Hildreth, the pitcher. So Merced is on the verge of getting out of a pretty serious jam here. If he can escape this inning with just one run scored, he'll be in good shape. Working out the stretch again. Merced with the pitch. Curve ball just outside. Ball one. So he started him off with a hook, and Hildreth was not biting on that one. 1 0. Ground ball to shortstop. Gobbled up, thrown to first, and the side is retired. One run on one hit, two left on. At the end of one four, it's Frontier One. Putnam Muffin. This is Red Hawk Baseball. Frontier Community Access Television. Then we go to the top of the second. Chris Collins, Alec Eckel, and Megan Self here at Frontier Regional School. The Hawks with a 1 0 lead over Putnam. It's going to be Tony Velasquez, Giovanni Merced, and David Perez. The three for Putnam. Matt Hildreth deals. Low ball one. Velasquez is the third baseman. Merced the pitcher, and David Perez the left fielder. For the 8 12 Putnam Beavers, the 15th seed in this Division Three field. Low at the knees, strike one. That evens the count at one apiece. And they're going to say he swung at that one. Looked like he cut the swing, but hope it's ahead of the count, one and two. Strike three, swinging. Second strikeout for Hildreth. One down, and the batter will be the pitcher, Giovanni Merced. Hildreth winds and pitches. Strike one, fastball inside. And Giovanni was all over that one, but just blew it by him. 0 and 1, the count. Ball in the dirt. On deck, on deck, on he gets a count at one apiece. The wind up of the pitch. Strike, got a foul tip. That makes the count one and two. Looked like Hildreth might have taken a little bit off of that one and just fooled Merced. Strike three, swinging. So two consecutive strikeouts for Hildreth. Three on the game, two down. The batter's going to be the left fielder, David Perez. Perez batting from the left side. Strike one. Well, Hildreth is just dealing right now. That one in the dirt. Skips to the backstop. He wins the count at one apiece. Strike two is Perez was way out in front of that one. So Hildreth looking to strike out the side here in the second. Foul ball, whoa! Right into the frontier dugout. And that one, that's scary. That just cleared the fence. But again, the Putnam batters are behind on the fastball. Hildreth with a changeup, strike three. So Hildreth strikes out the side. Three up, three down. We go to the bottom of the second. Frontier one, Putnam nothing. This is Red Hawk playoff baseball. Let's go to the access television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. 
software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. We are at the bottom of the second inning. Frontier will be bringing up Kalen Evans, Garrett DeForest, and Kyle Barnes to face Giovanni Merced, who escaped that first inning. Actually, unscathed, not unscathed, but not nearly as bad as it could have been when they had runners on all bases. You might see Kalen Evans pitch in relief in this game, depending on how it happens, but right now, Hildreth looks like he's on target. Merced winds and deals. Oh, and he cranks it. Evans deep to left field. He's going to be going extra bases. He may be headed all the way home. No, he's going to get to third at least. <laughs> and Evans is in with a stand, a sliding triple. Kale and Evans clocked that fastball down the left field line. So Evans on third with a three bagger. And the batter will be the catcher, Garrett DeForest. He got every bit of that pitch. Merced working from the stretch. And the pitch. Three, strike one. DeForest lines out a line shot to center field. It's picked up on a hop. It's a single for DeForest, and Evans will score easily from third, and it's 2 0 Frontier. And center fielder Nugent very nearly picked that one up, but definitely hit the turf. And the batter is going to be the second baseman, Kyle Barnes. Hey, Kyle Barnes, get. Hey, Barnes, get. Here we go, boys. Back. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Megan. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> So, in case you were missing what happened there, the <laughs> pickoff throw nearly hit me. And <laughs> Garrett DeForest advances to third on the errant throw, so it's an error on the pitcher. Barnes is still at the plate. Megan's knee is going to require surgery because I fell on her. And Barnes at the plate. Huh. Ball in the dirt. You all right? Oh man! I took the ball off my ankle because I went like this. Well, I, I understand. But perhaps we'll rethink broadcast positions in the future. <laughs> ball outside. We'll kill. We'll fire Murphy. It's all good. <laughs> Outside corner for the strike. Evans leads, excuse me, uh, not Evans, the Forest leads off third. 
Barnes fouls it down the third baseline. Got a piece of it, stayed alive. Two strikes now on Barnes. Curve ball. Oh, and he got it. Barnes way out in front of that curve. One down, and the batter is going to be Connor Wakis. Singled, stole a base in the first inning, and scored the first of Frontier's two runs. Two nothing Hawks, one out, and the runner at third is DeForest. Curve ball, ground ball. Knocked off the third baseman's bit. It's going to be an infield single for Wakis' second hit of the game. DeForest scores, and it's 3 0 Red Hawks. Velasquez did a good job to knock it down. That was right in the hole. And the batter is going to be the shortstop, Brian Bauman. Walked his first time up, got as far as third in that first inning. Lakers leads off first. Bauman. Fly ball, right center field, left center field. Oh, the left fielder went off his glove. Lakers is going to get there safely. So that's going to be an error on the left fielder, Perez, who just took his eye off of it. Tough break, and Wakis is able to get the second, and Bauman is at first, and the batter is going to be Kieran and Freeman, and that's something you do not want to see. That was a relatively routine fly ball, and you cannot make mistakes like that against this front of your team. They'll come back and kill you. So now, with two runners on, instead of having two outs, with one out. Merced steps off the rubber, looks back. Wakis has a big lead off second. Double steal is on. The throw to third, and Wakis is in there. Bauman moves up to second, so Wakis has his second stolen base of the game. So the double steal works, and the Frontier has runners in scoring position again. With Freeman at the plate. Ball in the dirt, nice stop by the catcher. Pick off back to third. Wakis is able to get back. Good job by the catcher, Perez, not only to stop the ball, but to try the pick off. Very nearly got Wakis going back to third. From the stretch, Merced. And fly ball to center field, deep left center field. And it's going to be caught by the left fielder. But Wakis is going to score easily. Bauman goes on to third, and it is 4 0. Frontier on the sacrifice fly by Kieran and Freeman. So, two down, the batter is going to be Corbin Blight. Sacrificed in a uh, run in the first as he flat out and got Wakis in. They're going to appeal to third base. And the appeal is denied. Corbin Blight, third baseman. As the train rolls through on this beautiful Friday. Foul back. Line drive, base hit to left field. That is going to score Bauman. And it's a single for Corbin Blight. And that makes the score 4 nothing. They actually 5 nothing Frontier. And the batter will be Jacob Bryant. Bryant flied out to the third baseman his first time up. And Blight 
deals second. So a single and a stolen base for Corbin. And once again, Frontier has a runner in scoring position, looking to pad this 5-0 lead. Line drive, base hit up the middle. Light, rounds 30, then try and score. Here's the throw to the plate. Light head first slide is safe. Bryant takes second. And it is just like that. Six nothing Red Hawks. Jacob Bryant with an RBI single. And the batter will be the pitcher, Matty Hildreth. Grounded out six to three his first time up. So after the one run first inning, the Hawks have broken it open with five in the second frame. Strike at the knees, nothing in one to Hildreth. Hildreth, ground ball to third. Gobbled up, thrown to first, and that will retire the side. But the Hawks put five on the scoreboard. End of two, Frontier five, Putnam nothing. Six rather, Putnam nothing. This is Red Hot Baseball, Frontier Community. Now we go to the top of the third inning. It's going to be Santos, Nugent, and Diaz, the hitters for Putnam. Matty Hildreth has been throwing some smoke. He has struck out four of the seven hitters he's faced in this game. Santos is the DH, wearing number 73. Poor Putnam, down six zip. Strike on the inside corner, 0-1 to Hilt Santos. Ball low, one ball, one strike to Santos. Strike on the inside corner, one and two the count. <laughs> Santos, fly ball to right, and it's pulled in by the right fielder, Zach Renaud. One down. So Santos flies out to the right fielder. The batter's gonna be Danny Nugent, the center fielder. Fly ball again to right field. And can of corn for Renault. So just like that, two fly balls to right field and it's two down. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jorge Diaz. Diaz struck out. This time they'll try it from the left side of the plate. Ball on the outside corner, just outside. 1-0 to Diaz. Swan and miss. Three minutes count at one apiece. Ball high and outside. Makes the count two and one. High and outside, ball three. So three and one now to count to Diaz. Is Hildreth is in danger of walking his first batter. Of this game, he's allowed one hit and has not allowed a runner to reach past second base. Ball four, so Diaz is on with a two-out walk. 
And the batter will be Randy Perez, the catcher. He has the lone hit for Putnam in this game. Diaz leads off first. Diaz is going. And the throw is going to be offline, and Diaz has himself a stolen base. So for the second time in this game, Putnam has a runner in scoring position. And Perez is ahead on the count, 1-0. Ooh, ball way inside as Perez pulls back. 2-0 the count to the big catcher. Ball low and inside, gets away from the catcher to Forrest, and Diaz is able to take third base. So Perez ahead on the count. Diaz is at third. As Putnam threatening to get on the board for the first time in this game. Perez steps out. Not sure what the debate's about, but here we go. 3-0 and the count to Perez. Ball in the dirt. DeForest keeps it in front of him, so Perez is on board with a two-out walk. So runners at the corners. So Hildreth, who started off with pinpoint control, <clears throat> has two walks in this inning. Skinny Williams comes out to have a conversation with his senior pitcher. Tom Hildreth down a bit. So Perez at first, Diaz at third, and Andy Perez, the first baseman at the pit at the plate for Putnam. Line drive, base hit to center field, just over the reach of the second baseman. That will score Diaz. And Perez is on board with a single and an RBI. And it's 6-1, to one, Frontier. And the batter will be the right fielder, Arroyo. Arroyo grounded out to the shortstop his first time. Bring in two, Eli. Come on. Hits in the dirt. Blocked again nicely by DeForest. So Hildreth showing some signs of control problems here in the third. Eli Arroyo. Walked up to the outside corner. One ball, one strike. Round ball to third, the second base rather, or the first pitcher rather, Hildreth. Over to Freeman, and that retires the side. But Putnam gets on the board at the end of three and a half, actually two and a half. It is Frontier six, Putnam one. This is Red Hot Baseball, Frontier the Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the third inning here at South Deerfield, and the batter will be Kalen Evans, Garrett DeForest, and Kyle Barnes for Frontier as they look to build on this 6-1 to one lead. 
Evans crippled and scored a run his last time up. A big five run inning in the second. And the winner of this game gets Athol on Monday at four o'clock. If Frontier wins here, it'll be here. If Putnam wins, it'll be an Athol. Evan steps in, and Giovanni Merced on the hill. Winds and pitches. Inside, ball one. My guess is Merced's probably going to try and pitch around Kalen. He took a fastball deep to left field his first time up. Ball just inside. 2-0 and oh the count to Kalen Evans, the speedy senior. Would love to cap his baseball career off of the Western Mass Championship in Division Three, if possible. Another deep fly ball to left field. This one, though, is more playable than the last one and is hauled in by Perez. So a long out for Kalen Evans. One down, the batter will be Garrett DeForest. Garrett DeForest singled his first time up and scored a run. Forrest fouls the first pitch off. Oh, and one the count. And that one was a breaking ball that DeForest just able to get a piece of. So the count is 0-2 to the catcher. On deck is Kyle Barnes, the second baseman. And if either one of those guys gets on, we go back to the top of the order and Connor Wakis. Curve ball, high. DeForest was not going to bite on that one. One and two. High fly ball in foul territory. They'll make a run for it, but it's out of play. It goes all the way to the gym door. They straighten that one out, and that's going to be four bases. In this case, it's just a long strike to Garrett DeForest. Count remains one and two. Ball in the dirt. He brings a count of two balls, two strikes to Garrett DeForest. Fly ball to center field. This is deep, but playable. And hauled in by Nugent at center field. So again, a long fly ball out. Two up, two down, and the batter is Kyle Barnes, the second baseman. Barnesy struck out his first time up. Ball just clips the outside corner. 0 and 1 to Barnes. And Barnes drops down a bunt, a nice bunt on the third base line. There's going to be no play. So Barnes with a bunt single. And the batter is going to be Connor Wakis. Two for two, two singles, two stolen bases, and Two runs scored. Got to play by Barnes to bunt with two out. 
but he dropped that nicely down the third base line. And attempt, good attempt by Merced to get to it, but it was no play. He had that cleanly beat. So a little small ball for the Hawks. A two out rally. And pickoff play. Back easily is Barnes. And Barnes is going to go and strike is the call, but no throw as Barnes slides in. Catcher lost the handle on it. So Barnes is in scoring position with an uncontested steal. Wake is at the plate. Curveball fouled off by Connor. That keeps things even. Curveball in the dirt. One and two, the count. And another curveball, and Wakus is able to follow it off, follow it off to protect the plate. Remains two strikes on Connor. Round ball back to the pitcher. Merced pulls it up, throws to first, and the side is retired. So no runs, one hit, one left. We go to the top of the fourth. Frontier six, hot number one. This is Red Hawk playoff baseball. Frontier community access time. We go to the top of the fourth, and it'll be Velasquez, Merced, and Perez, the batters for Putnam, trailing six to one. And let's see if Matt Hildreth recovers. He had a kind of a rough inning last inning, gave up a run, a couple of walks. After having pinpoint control for the first two innings. He struck out the side the last time Velasquez, Merced, and Perez came to the plate. Now, okay, now we're ready to start. Ball inside, nothing, or one and no to Velasquez. Swing and a miss and a high strike. Even as a count at one ball, one strike. Strike two. One and two the count on Tony Velasquez, the third baseman. Strike three swinging. So Velasquez K's for the second time in this game. One down. And the batter will be Giovanni Merced, the pitcher. That is the fifth strikeout recorded in this game by Matt Hildreth. Curveball, hooks in, strike one. That was a nasty pitch. Last ball outside, even as a count at one ball and one strike. Strike down the pipe. One ball, two strikes. The count on Tony Velasquez. Strike three, swinging. Two up, two down, and the batter will be David Perez, the left fielder. Perez struck out his last time up. So for the... 
Strike one swinging. So Hildreth on the verge of potentially doing something very rare and striking out the side on the same three batters in two consecutive innings. Strike two, oh and two. The count to Perez. Strike three, caught him looking on the outside corner. So after an iffy third, Hildreth comes back and strike out the side again. Go to the bottom of the fourth. Frontier six, Putnam one. This is Red Hawk Playoff Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks. Customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and it'll be Bauman, Freeman, and Corbin Blight, the batters, for Frontier, leading Putnam 6-1. to one. This opening round of the Division Three Western Mass Baseball Playoffs. Bauman reached on an error, and Last time up, and he walked his first time up. He has scored a run today. High ball one. Bauman swings, and it's a ground ball to third. Gobbled up, throw to first. And the ball, is the ball skips away, and it's an error on the shortstop. So for the second... Time. Bauman reaches on an error. Give that an E5. The batter will be Karen and Freeman sacrificed his last time up and singled his first time up. Bauman leads off first. Ball hits the plate and Bauman's going to get second base as it skips over the head of the catcher, Perez, <coughs> and Bauman is in scoring position. 1-0 the count to Kiernan Freeman. Another ball in the dirt, nice stop there by Perez. That one actually bounced in front of the plate, so 2-0 and oh, as Merced may be showing some, times of, some signs of tiring here in the bottom of the fourth. Bauman leads off second. High ball three. So Freeman ahead of the count, three balls, no strikes. With the hot hitting Corbin Blight on deck. Set from the stretch. Strike on the outside corner. That means the count three and one. Freeman taking all the way on that one. Freeman fouls it. And that loads up the count. Three balls, two strikes. Nobody out, runner at second for the Red Hawks, who leads six to one. Hey, 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 
Line drive, base hit to right field. Bauman turns third. He's going to try to score, and he is going to score standing up. So it's an RBI single for Freeman. And Bauman scores to make it 7-1 to one Frontier. Corbin Blight is the batter. Blight singled, stole a base, scored a run, and sacrificed his first time up for Frontier. Looking to break it open again. Curveball. Strike. Nothing in one to Blight, the third baseman. On deck, Jacob Bryant, the DH for the Mighty Hawks. Number two seed here in this D3 field. Freeman is going to try and steal. The throw down to second. Freeman hits the first slide and is in with the stolen base. So Freeman now in scoring position. And the count is even on Blight. Line drive, base hit down the left field line. Freeman crosses third, and he will score easily. It's going to be a double for Corbin Blight. And it is eight to one, Frontier. And that may do it for Merced. As the manager heads to the mound. We have a pitching change. This game coming to you from South Deerfield with the score Frontier 8, Putnam 1. So left hander Leo Santiago comes on in relief of Merced as the Hawks have extended the lead to 8 to 1. Corbin Blight is at second base. Jacob Bryant at the plate. And there is nobody out in this fourth inning for the Frontier Red Hawks. Oh, and the pitch goes behind Bryant, and moving up to third is Blight. 1 and 0 oh to Jacob Bryant. Probably not the way Santiago wanted to start his relief appearance. Santiago steps off the rubber, looks light back to third. Again, low, and Bryant jumps out of the way. So 2 0 on Bryant. Oh, just missed inside. Three and oh, the count. That looked like a strike. <laughs> so three and oh to Bryant. Light the runner at third. Ball in the dirt, and it gets away from the catcher, and scoring from third is Corbin Blight. And Bryant walks and heads down to First base. It's nine to one Frontier, and the batter is the pitcher, Matty Hildreth. Hildreth 0 for two, he's grounded out to short and to third. Bryant takes the lead off first. Santiago throws it away, and Jacob Bryant got, in, got hit by the first baseman trying to catch that ball, and he's shaking up on the play. If you water, I'll take a water if you want. Thank you. And Bryant's going to get second. Looks like he's all right. He'll walk it up.
I don't know, Bryant's still shaking up. Skinny Williams got to check him out. What happened was the throw went high, and Perez tried to jump after it. Bryant was going back to the base, and Perez kind of collided with Bryant. And now Bryant is being tended to. So Bryant will take second base. Someone in the crowd screamed, he plays hockey, he'll be fine. Well, I suppose. So Bryant's at second, and the batter is Hildreth. If Hildreth gets on, which is a possibility, no outs, Salen Evans will be the batter. Santiago with the pitch. High and outside. Santiago does not seem to be much of a fireball pitcher. Not a lot of velocity, it seems. And the pitch again goes behind the batter, and Bryant. Jogs his way up to third. So that's at least the third time the ball has ended up behind the batter. So Santiago having some control problems here. Two and two the count. And again, same spot as Hildreth jumps out of the way. That evens the count, three balls, two strikes. low, so Hildreth is on with a walk. So runners at the corners, still nobody out. And the batter is going to be Kalen Evans, the left fielder. As now it looks like we may see another pitching change. Yep, Santiago is going to leave. We have a pitching change. This game is coming to you from South Deerfield with the score. The Frontier Red Hawks 9 and Putnam 1. Back in a moment. Rock Baseball and Frontier Community Access Television. So the new pitcher for Putnam is Eli Arroyo. This is coming in in relief, another southpaw. Runners at the corners. Still nobody out. And a bunt, a suicide squeeze. Everybody's going to be safe. And they, throw, they overthrow to first. And scampering back, so Hildreth ends up at third. He almost scored. Suicide squeeze. Bryant does score. It's an RBI single for Kalen Evans, who takes second on the play, on the bunt. Hildreth is at third. Evans is at second. And it's just like that, 10 to 1. Nobody out, and DeForest is the hitter. DeForest flat out to center his last time up, and DeForest bunts! And again, everybody's safe as Hildreth scores. So Frontier playing some small ball and doing it very, very well. Evans up to third, DeForest in at first. So consecutive bunt singles. And it's 11 to one. And the batter is Kyle Barnes, who last time up, bunted safely. Pitch in the dirt, skips to the backstop. DeForest takes second. Evans stays at third. So four runs across in this inning with two more in scoring position. And Kay Barnes at the plate. Made it as far as second as last time up, bunt single, and he struck out. So he's one for two. Curveball just misses. Ooh. That was a great pitch by Arroyo, but just could not get the corner. One and know the count. A 
pitch in the dirt, 2-0. So Skinny Williams from Frontier looking to end this one early. He caught the outside corner on that one, did Arroyo. So one and uh, two and one rather. I don't, I'm not certain if the mercy rule exists in tournament play or not, or if they just keep playing. And it's gonna be a walk for Kyle Barnes. So Barnesy is on board. So the bases are loaded. For the top of the order, Connor Wakis, two for three. He grounded out to the pitcher last time up. He scored two runs, and he has two stolen bases in this game. Strike at the knees. Good pitch by Arroyo. 0-1 to Wakis on deck. Bauman again, still no outs in this inning, which is becoming a monster inning for the Hawks. Swing and a miss. Round ball to third. They're gonna go to the plate. And they get the force at home. So Evans is forced out at home. And everybody else moves up. One down. And the batter is Bauman as the bases are still loaded. Second and short, double play ball. Let's go. Outside ball one to Brian Bauman. Bauman has reached on an error twice and has reached on a, a base on ball. So he's been on base three times. He scored two runs. High ball, ball two right there. We got one, we got one. Ground we're wheeling, ground we're wheeling. Arroyo working from the windup and the pitch. Pop up, this is the, going to the second baseman. And hauling it in is the second baseman, Alexis Rodriguez. And there are two gone. And the batter is going to be Karen and Freeman. And Freeman has singled, stole a base, and scored this inning. He has a couple of RBIs and recent a base on balls as well. Two gone. A Royal Deals. Strike on the outside corner, 0 and 1. High ball one. Evens the count at one apiece. And we're in the bottom of the fourth. Frontier has blown it open in this inning. They have scored four runs and have the bases loaded. They lead 11 to 1. <laughs> Fouled off by Freeman. One and two the count. Pop up. And the catcher, the pitcher rather, will pull it in. Arroyo, and that retires the second. But the Hawks put up four runs. You go to the top of the fifth. Run to your 11. Cut them one. This is the MIAA Division Three Baseball Tournament. The front here for the access to We go to the top of the fifth. And Putnam trying to put something together here. Inside is the pitch by Hildreth, 1-0. and Ball is fouled back. One ball and one strike. Hit by the pitch.
or was he hit, or did it foul it off? Nope, he's gonna reach on base. So Mikey's aboard after being hit by a pitch. And the batter is gonna be Danny Nugent. Center fielder Nugent has flied out to right field. Pick off play. Ooh, very close. The batter is Nugent. And Nugent squares the button, fouls it off. 0 oh 1 the count. Ground ball to second, and they go to second for the force, and that's all they get. So Nugent reaches on a fielder's choice. Mikey is retired, and the batter, scheduled batter, is Diaz. Diaz has scored the only run for Putnam in this game. Now Skinny Williams is talking things over with the umpire. One out, one on. Nugent is the runner at first base. Again, Frontier leading 11 to one and barring a miracle comeback by Putnam, Frontier will face Athol here on this diamond on Monday, June the 10th. And the winner of that game will advance, I believe, to the semifinals in Western Mass in Division Three at UMass. And off with the pitch is Nugan, and he has a stolen base. So we're in scoring position now for Putnam. And Diaz still the hitter. Pop up behind third base. And giving chase was, and they're gonna say that was a foul ball. I was gonna say, Blight did his best to get to it, but could not haul it in. Ball outside. Pickoff play to second, they got him. Great pickoff play by Maddie Hildreth as they catch Diaz, or Nugan rather, leading off second. So two down quickly. And that clears the bases. Diaz still at the plate. That was a tremendous pickoff move by Matt Hildreth. It wasn't even close, really. Curveball, line drive, base hit to right field. So Diaz is on with a two out single. And the batter is the catcher, Randy Perez. Perez has reached on base twice. He has a single, and he walked last time up. Only two hits for Putnam in this game. Ball high. 1-0 to the big catcher, Randy Perez. Pick 
They got played at first. He got it there too. Two consecutive pickoffs by Matt Hildreth. And that retires the side. Wow, you don't see that every day. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Frontier 11, Putnam nothing. Or one rather, excuse me. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It'll be Blight, Bryant, and Hildreth, the batters for Frontier as they are out comfortably in front, 11 to one. Blight has doubled, singled, and has sacrificed. He scored two runs in this game and stolen a base. Still on in relief is Arroyo. Ball one the count. Ball low, gets to the backstop. Curve ball, fouled off. Nice pitch by Arroyo, but Blake was able to get a piece of it to stay alive. Arroyo's done a pretty good job in relief. Santiago did not fare as well, never even got out of the last inning. Broke a Foul ball, broken bat, and caught. Actually, he broke the bat, he sheared that thing off, and Arroyo. Oh wait, no, that's a steal bat, he let go. Arroyo makes the play, so Blight's retired, and the batter is gonna be the DH, Jacob Bryant. Bryant flat out to third, singled, and actually single twice and scored a run his last time up. High and outside, ball one. Curve ball just misses in the outside corner. Ooh, looked like a pretty good pitch. 2-0 the count to the big man, Bryant. And a weak line drive caught by the shortstop. So Bryant lines out to the shortstop. Two up, two down, and the batter will be Matt Hildreth, the pitcher. Hilly scored his last time up and has singled and has flied out. Excuse me. Uh, he's grounded out twice and reached on a walk. Look at the wrong line there. And he scored a run his last time up. And he's pitched a great game for Frontier. Ball one high. Ball just outside. 2 0 the count. I can confirm it is officially mosquito season in South Deerfield. Murphy served me up as a hot lunch to the little buggers. But that's what happens in this field. It's uh, They won't go hungry. They will never go hungry on this field. <laughs> Two and one the count as it's fouled off by Hildreth. Curve ball outside, three and one the count to Hildreth. On deck is Kalen Evans. And it's gonna be a two out walk. Matty Hildreth is on board. Second time he has walked today. Second time he's reached. The batter is gonna be Kalen Evans, the left fielder. Evans singled and made the third on a fielder's choice. He's actually cut down on a fielder's choice. He fly out to the left and he tripled to open the game. Pickoff play back easily as Hildreth. Two 
Fly ball. Outside near right. This could be trouble. It's going to drop in. And Evans is aboard with a fly ball single. And the ball does not come in. And taking advantage and scoring is Maddie Hildreth to make the score 12 to 1. So Hildreth paying attention. And the batter is going to be the catcher, Garrett DeForest. So a two out single and an RBI for Kalen Evans. Ball high and outside. 1 0 to DeForest. Good curveball. Looked like it was right there, but they're going to call it high. Come on, baby. So Eli is not getting a lot of calls from this umpire. That's the third or fourth pitch that looks pretty good from here. High for a ball. If DeForest gets on, Kyle Barnes will be up. And we're in the bottom of the fifth, 12-1 Frontier. And that's going to be a base on balls for DeForest. So Evans moves up to second. DeForest reaches on a base on balls. And the batter is going to be Kyle Barnes. Barnes walked. He had a bunt single, and he struck out today. So one for three for Barnes. The pitch. Strike on the knees. Nothing in one to Kyle Barnes. Connor Wakis on deck if Barnes gets aboard. Fly ball just over the shortstop and called in by the left fielder Perez to retire the side. We played five from South Deerfield at the end of five. It's Frontier 12. Putnam 1. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks. Customer driven networking for your business. Software driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. So here at the top of the sixth, and we have a pitching change for the Frontier Red Hawks. Xavier Santiago, the X-Man, on in relief. Matty Hildreth, five solid innings for the Red Hawks. And no doubt he will be, he may very well get that start on Monday against Athol, which looks like it's going to happen. So Frontier is six outs away from advancing to the next round of the Division Three tournament. 13 to one is the score. Inside ball one. Woo! 
2 0 the count. Groove that one. 2 and 1 the count. Randy Perez is the batter. Ground ball, third. Gobbled up, fired to first, and out. Blight to Freeman, one down. And the batter is gonna be the first baseman, Andy Perez. He had a single on an RBI. And he grounded out to the pitcher in this one. Expand, shakes off the sign, and now the pitch. Curve ball, just outside. Foul back. Strike at the knees. One ball, two strikes to Andy Perez. Fly ball to right field. And there to get it is Renaud. Renaud with his third put out of the game. Two up, two down. And the batter is going to be the pitcher. Eli Arroyo started the game in right field, came in to pitch in relief. He has grounded out to short and grounded out to the pitcher in this game. Santiago deals. Just low, ball one. One to know. Ball inside. 2-0 the count. Foul back. Got a good cut at that one. <laughs> High outside. Ground ball back to Santiago, snags it, fires to Freeman. And a one, two, three inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Red Hawks 13. The one. This is Red Hawk Playoff Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. So we have a pinch hitter to start this inning. Top of the sixth, Gabe Gachinski. Number 13 will hit. Chinsky first pitch swing, grounds the third. Doubled up, thrown to first, and he's out. Kaczynski is cut down. Five to three. And that will bring up another pinch hitter for Frontier. This is, I believe, Gabe Talona. High and outside. Talona batting for Bauman. 
And if he reaches, Cannon Freeman is on deck. Nice pitch right down the middle. Three and one to count. Low and the ball. So Talona is on. And the batter will be Karen and Freeman. K-Dogs had himself a day. Couple of hits, couple of RBIs. He scored a run. Inside and high ball one. One and nothing. Kelowna leading off of first base for Eat Frontier. Fly ball. Left center field. And Freeman's retired. Two down. And the batter is going to be Corbin Blight. Blight has doubled, singled, sacrificed, scored two runs, and stolen two bases. <laughs> Outside ball one. Inside, 2-0 oh, the count. Inside ball three. And that's going to be a two-out walk for Corbin Blight. So Blight gets on a base on balls. And Talona moves to second base. And the batter is going to be Jacob Bryant. Bryant flied out to the shortstop his last time up. He scored a run. He's had a single and an RBI. And he's flied out to the third baseman. Now, quick substitution. Fly ball to left, and this one is going to drop in. Talona is going to try and score, and he is going to make it. That makes it 14 to 1. It's an RBI single for Jacob Bryant. His second ribby of the game. And we are going to bring up a new pinch hitter. Trying to see the number. It looks like Dylan Appenell. Ball inside. Batting for in the spot that Maddie Hildreth was hitting in. Hildreth's done for the day. Runners at first and second. And the pitch. Way out in front of that one was Zappanel. Talking to himself. That was a nice uh, changeup thrown by 
Putnam pitcher. Arroyo. I believe the count is two and one. Another curveball. Loops in there. That evens the count at two apiece. Fly ball, deep right field, and it's been dropped. And Blight will score. Apodel is in there with a triple. So Blight scores, excuse me, uh, Bryant scores. Sixteen to one. Appenell is at third. And the batter will be Kalen Evans. Foul back. That's gonna be an error on the outfielder, so two unearned runs. Strike on the outside corner. Side and high to Evans. Appenell on at third. Outside again. Ground ball, and it's going to go foul. Hey, at least you're getting an AB, bro. I got my pole. All right, all right. I got to go back to the field, too. <laughs> so Evans will do it all again. And Frontier will host Athol in the second round on Monday here at Frontier Regional School. That will be an interesting matchup. Curve ball, laced to left field, base hit. Appenel will stay at third, so it's a single for Evans. That is his third hit of the game. And that will bring up Garrett DeForest, the catcher. Curve ball, high ball one. Curve ball low in the dirt. Two and oh. Curve ball in for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Curve ball high. Three and one the count. Here pitch, 
Outside ball four. So DeForest is on with a base on balls. Evans moves up to second. Appenel is at third. And the bases are loaded, and the scheduled batter, Kyle Barnes. And I believe we are going to have another pitching change. And the new pitcher for Putnam is going to be Jorge Diaz. As Diaz moves over from short. So Arroyo moves to first, and Andy Perez moves to second. As again, the bases are loaded again. By my count, this is, I think, the third or fourth time in this game that Frontier has had the bases loaded. This was every bit the mismatch we thought it was going to be on paper. But Putnam's hung in there. It just has not been their day, and Frontier has unloaded offensively. Batter is Poland, pinch hitting. Or he deals. Inside, ball one. Right at the knees, evens the count at one apiece. Curveball, just high. Two and one the count. Pitch. And it's going to be a bases loaded walk. And that will score another run. Appenel comes in. And that's going to be the game. As I believe the mercy rule is in effect, and that is how it is going to end. Oh, wait a minute. What, what's happening here? I'm not sure what's happening here, but they're talking it over at home plate. I think this game has been over for a while, but the question becomes, do you just end it prematurely? It is unusual for a tournament game to end on the mercy roll, but I'm not sure what is to be gained by playing more of this. And it looks as though the game is going to be called in the bottom of the sixth inning. The final score, 
Frontier advances in the Western Mass Division Three MIAA Baseball Tournament, beating number 15 Putnam by a score of 17 to one. The Red Hawks now move on to take on Athol High School Monday on this field in the second round. And the winner of that game advances to the semifinals at UMass Amherst. That's gonna do it for our coverage for my cohorts here, my crew. Megan Self, Alec Echo, the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports. Kevin Murphy, I'm Chris Collins. The final score for the final time. Red Hawks win big in the opening round of the tournament. Final score, Frontier 17, Putnam 1. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time on Frontier Baseball and Frontier Community Access Television.